What's up guys, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I want to show you a modification uh, that I did to uh, one of my favorite cycling drills. So I, I've already posted this, I'll put a link in the description to the original drill which is called the Perpetual Cycle and I want to show you a modification that I did to make this work on a quarter ice setting or um, the drill itself is already a half ice drill but if you've got a big enough roster, like for example if you've got a full ice practice you can run a half ice drill in each half and use half your roster down here, half down at the other end. Um, if you're only running a half ice, half ice practice, um, or if you've got a quarter ice setting, then this may be a time where you know to just run this drill would be too uh, too long of a wait in between turns. So this is a variation of this drill where you can actually split your roster in half. So you'd have half your guys over here, half your players over here, and then you can run it out of both corners at the same time. And if you've got two goalies, um, even better, you know, you can stick a goalie in each net and uh, it works really well. So let me show you how this drill works. And of course, um, if you're looking for the printout, we'll have everything available at WeissTechHockey.com. So again, um, you can check the link in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'll put the link to the original, the, the original perpetual cycle, and then of course, um, the link to the quarterized perpetual cycle where you can find the printout and download and everything like, like that. So um, here's what we got. The first player in line will dump a puck into the corner, okay? And then, uh, or the coach can dump it in. Just to, This is just to start the drill. And then what's gonna happen is uh, the first player is gonna go in and kind of take an angle like this, and pick up the puck out of the corner and then start walking up the boards with it. Okay, so we're gonna cycle. Uh, this is kind of like a high cycle. So coming up and then cycling, we're gonna cycle back down. The next player in line is gonna come basically like around the backside of the net. It's kind of how I would like to run it. Um, if, you know, certain times in the drill, timing gets off, and if you need to cut the corner and come in front of the net, that's fine too. But generally, it's good to leave with enough time that you can skate behind the net. Okay, and this drill is more simple in actuality than it looks on paper, so don't stress out if this looks, starts looking a little complicated. Um, after this player walks up a little bit, then of course we wanna have the player behind calling for the cycle. Communication's key on this, um, but it needs to be the receiver calling for it. We'll cycle it back down, okay? So I'm usually, well, I'll just draw it. We'll bank it off the boards, okay? So bounce it off the boards and down to this, uh, the next player. Then after that cycle happens, then the player who made the cycle is going to drive across. Now, um, we're, we're kind of opening this up. This is like a compressed version of this drill, but the idea is we're opening up across the top of the seam. So if this is a lefty, we're gonna have the, the puck be received on the forehand side. So the lefty wants to come up and around and then be actually kind of cutting down towards the net when the pass is made. Uh, if it's a righty, then same idea, but you wanna open up and about here, you wanna pivot open into a mohawk. Uh, and then so, so you can re be receiving that puck on your forehand as it comes. So uh, the player who received the cycle is going to take a couple steps out with it and then make a pass from about this angle, okay? So walk it up just a little bit, hit that pass, and then of course, shot on net from there, okay? Now here's where we get, this is a little bit complicated, but it actually works very well doing it. As this pass is made and the shot is being taken, uh, the player who took the shot gets back in line. That, that player's job is done now. The next player in line is gonna dump a puck in to this side of the net, okay? Now this is where we're gonna start getting overlapping lines and things like that. Like I said, it looks more complicated on paper than it is in real life. But what's gonna happen here is um, the player who made the pass in fact, maybe I'll make this in a blue so that maybe it might be a little bit easier to see. So remember we said the pass comes from about here. So after that pass is made, this player is gonna loop open and then circle back down behind the net, pick up the new dump in, okay? And then make a, a cycle, like a low cycle this time. So this is actually kind of a neat variation because um, in the, the full version of this drill, like the original version, perpetual cycle, um, it's all just high cycles. But now we're actually alternating back and forth between low cycle, high cycle. So uh, he or she is gonna swing back down, pick up the new dump in, and then cycle back off the boards like this. And then, of course, the player who dumped it in, I'm gonna keep trying to remember to do these in blue, is gonna be looping this direction, okay? pick up the puck, and then here's what's gonna happen. This is gonna be, this actually works really nicely. Uh, this player is gonna kinda time it out and then be cutting across the front like this as this player picks up the puck and swings behind the net. 
like this. So pick up the cycle, drive behind the net like this, and then if you time it right, just as this player pops to the other side of the net, this player is going to be driving towards the net, and uh, you can pop out that that little uh, centering pass, that little front pass, net front pass, boom, right there, and then it's a one timer right there, and uh, works really nice. So let me let me get a shot icon here, boom, right, and then of course as this is happening, uh, the next player in line. Is, and I'll do this one more time in green this time, so maybe we can still see things. Uh, the next player in line is dumping one in to this side, okay? So after this player picks up the cycle, makes the pass, then he or she is gonna turn back around. It's again, it's another little loop. So you're gonna loop open like this, and then come back around, pick up the cycle from the corner, walk up the boards with it just a little bit, and then cycle back down to that next player who is coming, uh, swinging in behind the net to pick up that cycle. And it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So dump it in on, on uh, what would, I guess we would call the right side of the net, and then dump it in on the left side of the net, then dump it in on the right side, left side, right side, left side. And the player who made the centering pass or who received the cycle always loops back around to pick up the next cycle and then loops back around to pick up the next cycle. Um, players rotating in and out. If you do it right, and if your players are competent enough, um, which, you know, about peewees is probably a decent level. You know, if you've got a really talented and smart group of, of uh, U10s, you might be able to make this work with them. Uh, but it is, there is quite a bit to think about. Um, but a decent group of peewees should be able to manage this drill, and it flows really nicely. You keep everybody moving quite well. A lot of shots, a lot of different, you know, game-like situations, game-like angles. I will point out one small detail. Um, whenever we go like two nets in one end, in one half, um, most of the time, depending on the drill, but most of the time I like to have them centered up with the dots. So at least the goalies kind of have that visual reference of what the, where their uh, post, the, the back middle post is, where the middle of the net is behind them. Uh, and then, of course, if you have a, an ice marker, you can draw a crease in there for them. That helps them a little bit more even. Um, so I like to kind of have that set up right there with these nets directly in line with the dots. Then at least, I mean, it's not ideal, but half ice or quarter ice settings is never ideal. Our ideal would be full ice always, but we make the most with what we can with what we've got, right? We, we do the best we can with what we've got. So, um, you know, if you can set it up where the goalie has some sort of visual references uh, and a crease, then that helps a lot, you know, and, and the best way of doing a crease with a marker, uh, if you really want to be exact about it, is get um, get some rope, like, you know, some twine or some paracord or something, uh, tie it to your marker, and then stretch it out. So put it on, like, just behind the, uh, the middle, um, just inside the front crossbar, but right in the middle. Um, hook it on with, like, a carabiner or tie it on there, and then stretch it out to the exact length of the actual crease, like how far that is. And then of course, um, mark that. And then anytime you hook it into your net with that carabiner, then you just stretch out the rope to the proper distance where it was, where, where you first measured it. And then it's like, uh, it's like using a, like a compass, you know, in math class. So you just hold it taut and then draw the marker around and you can make like a very clean crease um, that's the same size as the regular crease that they would put in the net. So. Anyways, that's that uh, little kind of tip for, uh, for drawing your own creases, but uh, it's the way I've been doing it. It works really well. Gives the goalies a lifelike crease, even if you're moving the nets around on them, which, you know, I don't like to do it, but sometimes you have to, and uh, it is what it is. So that's the quarterized perpetual cycle. Hopefully that, you know, maybe you can use that in your practices or, or save it in your back pocket for any time you get in a weird situation where you've got to do a, a quarterized type drill. Um, or if you've got a half ice situation where you need to split up your team half and half so that there's not as much wait time in line. Um, but it works really well. Uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, keep checking back, ystechhockey.com. We've got tons of drill skills, other things that'll help you with your coaching. Um, and we try to post pretty regularly. So um, keep checking back and we'll be back again soon with more, uh, with more videos like this.